Hello YouTubers, welcome to GTA 5 and this is Crime Scenester and I'm going to show you how to do this without a Karuma, on foot um, and on hard. Right, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the location, but I'm not going to go to the side where the yellow dice is, I'm going to go to the opposite side and we're going to start off from this side. Now I think you can do it from the other side, but I've never done it from the other side, I always come on this side. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take out these these police officers right at the entrance and then we want to move quickly ahead and stay behind cover as best you can. Make sure you have lots of snacks of course, you're going to need them uh, for sure. And of course we can't jump over these barriers for whatever reason. So just just basically take out the cops, don't worry about the whole, uh, the, 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 all, all the cops at the bottom too much. Uh, it looks like there's a lot but there's not too much, there's not that many. So just, just use the dumpsters to cover, just be careful they, they do come up behind you, uh, they're not too bad in terms of, the, there's a few of them that come up behind us, but uh, most of them actually don't, have, don't actually bother us. So we're going to just move ahead from the dumpster and we're going to just head to that other trash can where we just shot those two cops, and then we're going to move, move ahead after that. Again, just keep, keep an eye on your health there, always make sure your health is... So we're just going to hide behind this dumpster for the moment. Uh, normally what I like to do is I like to take out these cop cars on the right because we may need to actually exit down this alleyway if we grab a car, right? It really depends. So I, I take them out anyway. You want to kill them anyway, right? So but that just kind of clears the part, right? So once we killed most of the guys, we're going to just move ahead. And again, just, just try and remain in cover. Uh, use these cars as your cover. There is a guy right behind the van. Watch out for him. He's probably the most dangerous. Um, he's got in the money there, I guess. He's kind of a plain clothes policeman. So normally what I do is I just duck behind his white van and then I'll take him out. And then you grab, grab the money. It's right behind the van, typically. Um, you can jump in, you know, a car here yeah, or you can, you can go back to your car. Normally what I do is I just grab, grab a police car and I, I just head down the alleyway this way. But I'm, I'm just going to head back to, to my car. And that's pretty much it, right? So, uh, after this, I, I normally what I do is I go down the, the viaduct, if you will, and then uh, I just dive into one of the tunnels and then wait for the, 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 the stars to disappear and you're good to go, right? So, uh, pretty straightforward. Um, not as hard as you you think it might be. It's super super easy in that room, obviously. Uh, not quite as easy, but not that hard either. Uh, do no on foot, right? So as long as you pay attention to your health and uh, you keep your health full, and then use those those dumpsters and things for cover, then you can pretty much go down that way without really even sweating it, right? So uh, pretty easy. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful and uh, enjoy.